Hi, welcome to Simple or Not Kitchen. My name is Melissa and here in Simple or Not Kitchen, we take some of those online cooking videos and we put them to the test and let you know if they're simple to follow or not. And today, in honor of Pride Month, we're making these delicious rainbow swirl sugar cookies. These cookies are so fun to make and they're delicious and so pretty. And all we need to make them is our favorite sugar cookie dough along with some food coloring in primary colors. Of course, you can use any kind of sugar cookie dough. You could actually also probably do this with scones, um, any kind of shortbread, but we're just using a store-bought version of cookie dough and we are cutting it into six equal portions. And then we're going to mix a little bit of food coloring into each portion of the cookie. We're going to make each portion a separate color. And to do this, we're just going to flatten it out a little bit. If you find that your dough is a little tough to work with, you can use a little bit of powdered sugar. I'm going to start by making the purple portion of our rainbow. So to do that, we are going to mix a little bit of our red and our blue food coloring. And I'm using my hands to work this food coloring into the dough, but a stand mixer probably would have been faster, easier, and probably neater as well. And working each batch of dough separately, we're going to go ahead and color each section different colors of the rainbow. For orange, of course, we're going to mix red and yellow. And mixing all the colors does take a little bit of time and it can get kind of messy, but it is also fun as well. The dough kind of reminds me a little bit of Play-Doh. If it does get hard to work with, you can use some powdered sugar. You can also add a little bit of flour to your powdered sugar as well. These fun little cookies are so delicious and they're so easy to make and such a fun way to celebrate Pride Month. And once each section of our dough is a color of the rainbow, we're going to start assembling our cookies. And we're going to do this by layering the cookie dough. We're going to take our first section, which is the red. We're going to flatten it out a little bit, and then we're going to layer each color on top of it so that we make a rainbow. And the dough can be a little bit sticky and hard to work with, but as carefully as we can, and it doesn't have to be perfect, we're going to just layer our cookie dough um, in the order of the rainbow. So we're going to go from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then purple on top. And then starting at one end, we are going to carefully roll our dough toward the center. We want to create one long, roll of cookie dough. So we're going to start at one end and just gently roll. It doesn't have to be perfect. It'll all come out nicely in the end. So don't worry about it looking perfect. You see we have a few holes in our cookie dough, but that's okay. Then we're going to go ahead and take some parchment paper and wrap our cookie dough in some parchment paper and let it chill for about two hours. And then it's time to prepare our cookies for baking. We're going to line a cookie sheet with some parchment paper. Then we're going to take our dough out of the refrigerator and we're going to cut each individual cookie. And you can see each individual color of the rainbow in the cookie. Aren't those pretty? These beautiful little rainbow cookies are going to cook at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. You wanna watch them closely so that they don't burn. And when they come out of the oven, this is what they're going to look like. And that's it, a super simple way to celebrate pride. Thank you for watching Simple or Not Kitchen. For more recipes, articles, and video, go online to pinellcentral.com.